Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today we're going to be doing an in-depth analysis on the new cards that are available on the JP side. I'll be doing an analysis on the global side later on tonight. I'll be at work by the time the new cards come out on the global side, so when everything happens, I'll probably have that video up by around 11, 12 o'clock tonight. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off. First off, I want to give a shout out to Thigh Unsuspicious. I was actually going to do it based off of his post, but he did all the translations for us, and that's what you're going to see in my description below. If you guys don't know, I always usually put all of the cards in my description, so if you want to copy or paste anything, I usually you know, I'll have them there, and I always credit the source that I get the, the information from. So let's go ahead and start off. Uh, SR, the new SR card for Evil Drifting in the Darkness, Sin Shenron. He is an SR. We do not know if he's going to be grindable or if they're summonable. It says here summonable, so we're assuming summonable. His leader skill is Shadow Dragon Arc Key plus 1, Attack and Defense plus 30%. His super attack is Dark Dragon Blaster. Causes extreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. His passive skill, Control of Darkness, Agility and Tech Type Key plus 2, Attack plus 15%. And his link skills are Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, GT, and Shadow Dragons. He has max stats of HP of 6770, Attack of 6472, and Defense of 3845. He has a 12 key multiplier of only of 125%, and he Doken Awakens with 21 metal from the new event so essentially this isn't really a new event uh, from what the wiki says it's part of the shadow dragons of despair event and it's going to be stage three countdown to the crash we don't have any information about who's going to be we're going to be battling obviously it's going to be the physical omega shenron i would assume there's going to be the strength one involved uh there might be the sin shenron maybe the agility or the physical one we don't know yet um but that's there so uh when we get more information i'll go ahead and update that i'll probably do a gameplay a playthrough on that. So he doken away gets with 21 metals into chaos into the end Omega Shenron. So it looks like he's dokening into an Omega Shenron, guys. So if you haven't pulled Omega Shenron yet, or if you pulled him and don't have him at Super Attack 10, you should be able to farm up his Super Attack, which is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, that means he's semi farmable if he's a summonable unit, which is really cool. His new leader ability is Shadow Dragon Arc Key plus 2 attack at defense plus 50%. Uh, super attack is minus energy power ball causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense which is actually really freaking awesome if you think about it he's a, a, a an sr that tokens the supreme damage and he's a, no he's an omega shenron so he, he's gonna be linking really well let's go into that in a second passive skill is control of darkness agility and tech type key plus two attack and defense plus 25 percent so if you noticed here that's actually really nice because um it looks like he's going to be giving super saiyan 4 gogeta since um he's part of the shadow dragon arc a uh, good key buff as well what's kind of odd though is that he doesn't do physical which is what the actual card the the transcendent ultra the, the banner card is uh but i guess it's because he gets the link skills with him uh, link skills are brutal beatdown fear and faith big bad bosses gt shadow dragon shocking speed and fierce battle uh, max stats is HP of 7415, attack of 6755, and defense of 4849. Overall, not a bad card. The thing is, when you Doken Awaken him, he's not going to be viable on a team because you're probably going to be running the new Omega Shenron or the old Strength one if you have him. If you don't have either of them, then he'll be cool, but his undoken form, Sin Shenron, um, is going to be a good card to run. Actually, so I, I did make a mistake in that earlier. I said he's going to be good for linking. He's not going to be good for linking because Omega Shenron. Um, Sin Shenron, I guess, would be is, is going to be underrated or not underrated. It won't be used as much, uh, I guess, because of the lack of link skills. He doesn't have Fierce Battle. Um, I guess the others would link well with him. Um, overall, I don't know. I guess that would be up to you if you're going to run an SR on your team. I'm sure you could build better teams depending on your units. But if you're a newer player or you're a reroller, uh, then this guy will probably be someone you're going to want to run on your team at Super Attack 10. So let's go ahead and talk about this card right here. Now, all the translations haven't been updated on the wiki page, so I'm just going to go over and pull it off from over here. Mega Shenron, Evil Dragon of the Vortex. Leader skill is key plus two. HP attack and defense plus 120% up uh, for Shadow Dragon Arc category. And key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 40% up for physical types. Max stats is HP of 99.75, attack of 92.40, and defense of 42.13. And his super attack is minus energy, or his passive skill is minus energy. Uh, attack plus 100% for, um, yeah, attack plus 100%, all enemies attack and defense minus 15%, launches an additional super attack, which has a rare chance to become a super attack. All right, link skills are Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, GT, Fear and Faith, and Shadow Dragons. I apologize for doing that a little bit out of order. I was reading off of the uh, Reddit post that I had mentioned earlier. Um, he dokuns with 77 medals from the event, and he has 12 key multiplier of 140%. He Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into cash, uh, Crashing Maelstrom Omega Shenron. Uh, his leader skill is Shadow Dragon Saga, Category Characters, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, um, or Physical Types, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50% up. 
So I, I didn't say this earlier. I did say it in my last video. Uh, it's either or. If you're if you're part of the category, that's when you get the attack buff. If you don't have the part of the category, then it checks if you're part of the attribute. If you're not part of the attribute, then you don't get the buff. So they, they don't stack together. Let me put it like that. So he will not be double stacking himself for a uh, huge buff. Uh, his super attack is minus energy power ball. Causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill minus energy of evil. Attack plus 120%. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%. Launches an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack. Link skills are Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, GT, Fear and Faith, Shadow Dragons, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 1290, attack of 11,060, and defense of 5350. So he's going to be nuts. Just his base stats alone are freaking insane, dude. Um, so, I mean, think about it. He is going to tank so well with a base defense of 5350. He's going to be a tank, especially if you throw him on a, on a 120 cooler lead. Uh, he's going to tank. And even on his own lead, 150%, a double, a double Omega. Holy crap. Uh, he has a 12 key multiplier of 150% as well. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, look at that. Total, um, the total stats over here, we actually have them. Potential system is HP of 18,300, attack of 16,060, and defense of 9,950. Yeah, he is going to be a beast, honestly. Personally, I would like to have him and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, since they both are part of the Shadow Dragons category. Let's go ahead and jump into that now. Um, the, we're going to talk about the SR variant first. Awakening Omen, Super Saiyan 2 Goku GT. His leader ability is Shadow Dragon R key plus 1 and attack and HP plus 30%. That's actually not a bad leader ability, uh, if you think about it, because you know, he's giving HP and attack. A super attack, Super Kamehameha, causes extreme damage to the enemy and allies. Attack plus 20% for one turn. Passive skill, dynamic struggle, physical and tech type key plus 2 and attack plus 15%. So he's going to actually be really good on an Omega team if you have Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Omega. Mega because he's giving both of them that buff. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, and GT. His max stats are HP of 7890, attack of 6444, and defense of 3250. Hidoken awakens with 21 medals, and Hidoken awakens into new possibility Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. His leader skill is Shadow Dragon Arc, key plus 2, attack and HP plus 50%. A super attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy and allies attack plus 20% for one turn. Uh, passive skill, dynamic, fierce battle, physical and tech type key plus two, attack plus 25%, so he's a really good support unit. Uh, link skills are Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, GT, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. He has max stats of HP of 86.55, attack of 73.13, and defense of 35.31. So his defense kind of sucks. But overall, he's a really good support unit. He's giving a lot of it. He's giving good attack boost, good key boost to the, to the units that actually need it on this team. He has really good link skill set. Um, I think he's the yeah, he's so he's a Super Saiyan three. Now I didn't mention this before on the Omega uh, for the SR variant. But he's a Super Saiyan three on a physical. So if you have the Super Saiyan three Go Tanks, the physical leader, one twenty leader, he's gonna run really well on the team because he's Super Saiyan three. And that's kind of going back now over here to the uh, Omega Shenron. There's no Omega Shenron on an agility team granted there's not a lot of characters that he's going to link well with in terms of being a, a shadow dragon but i mean big bad bosses fear and faith brutal beatdown shocking speed and fierce battle all these are pretty relevant on a uh, agility team honestly so he's going to link pretty damn well on a, on a mono se super 17 team uh, i haven't actually done the research on it but uh, i know that some of those link skills are really viable so he's going to be great uh, so these two are really good on their mono teams respectively so don't take them lightly they're actually going to be really good units if you can i would recommend getting them to super attack 10 before doing anything all right now before i forget i just did want to mention about the goku the super saiyan 2 goku the sr variant can be do well z awakened into an ssr and fed into the physical ssj2 kid goku gt for a 50 percent chance there's also the agility super saiyan 2 goku at least from the wiki page that's what i'm looking at right now that you could feed into him but he's a transcendent ultra rare so it's a very low percentage it's probably not gonna be worth it. i think it's only gonna be about a five percent chance to increase the super attack but the physical one if you want to try and increase his super attack you could do that with a 50 percent shot now you also when you doken awaken the new card the new physical card after he's doken i would recommend getting him to ultra rare and feeding him into the strength super saiyan 3 goku unit to get a super attack up to help increase the damage output for your super saiyan 4 a super saiyan 3 team uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku team that is, because that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is one that links with him at Super Attack 10, he does a lot more damage, and I don't really think he's worth using Elder Kaizen. Um, there's also the agility unit, but he hasn't had, he's not that viable at this point in the game, but um, at some point maybe he will be. But those are two cards, the agility Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku GT and the strength one, but I would recommend doing the strength one. Um, Alright, last but not least, let's go ahead over the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Supreme Fusion Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, we're going to go back over to the Reddit post real quick, while you guys look up over here. 
uh, so that way I can get you his uh, leader ability. So his leader ability is key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 120% for fusion dance category, and key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 40% for tech types. So that's freaking pretty cool. Um, again, it's the same thing as the Omega, except it's for fusion dance types. Uh, super attack is Big Bang. Kamehameha raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill plus energy, attack plus 100%. Extreme type energy uh, enemies, attack and defense minus 15%. High chance of evading the enemy super attack and countering with enormous power. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, GT, and Fuse Fighter. Uh, max stats are HP of 8950, attack of 1060, and defense of 3700. Hidoken awakens with 77 medals and has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. It looks like we actually have his total potential system as well. HP of 13,550, attack of 15,460, and defense of 8700. Doken awakens into the Peerless Gleam Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. His later skill, Fusion Dance Category, uh, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150% uh, up. Otherwise, it is Tech Type, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50% up. Super Attack is 100 time Big Bang Kamehameha. Awesome, I love that move. Um, uh, best of skill, plus energy of justice, attack plus 120%, extreme types, attack and defense minus 20%, high chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, GT, Fierce Battle, and Fused Fighter. Uh, max stats are HP of 11,555, attack of 12,140, and defense of 5075. 12 key multiplier of 150%, and his max potential system is going to be 16,150, 17,000 for HP, attack of 17,540, and defense of 9,675. So overall, these are really good units. I, my personal opinion on the matter is because the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is part of the Shadow Dragons arc, would be the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta paired with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then possibly the Omega Shenron here with Sin Shenron, and then, well, you can't have him as the, the agility one as a rotational leader, but you could have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku as a rotational leader, then you could throw another support unit in there if you want. Uh, that's just off the top of my head. Overall, all these cards are really awesome. I kind of like the new meta shift. I said this in the, my last video, my discussion video, where I went over the pros and the cons, or some of the pros and the cons. It wasn't really too in-depth, but um, I kind of like the meta shift. The 150 liters here, in my opinion, guys, I don't really think it's breaking the game. It's not rendering the 120 liters useless. I mean, you could still run 120 liters. You could still run the 90% liters if you pulled the LRs. Uh, it makes it brings diversity to the game. Uh, I mean, a lot of us who are saying, oh, it sucks, it's the meta, this and that, it's probably because you're wailing out or you have all the cards. And if you don't have the cards, then, I mean, if you don't have all the cards and you pull one of these leaders, that gives you opportunity to create really good teams. But overall, guys, that is the card overview for all the current cards that are available. Thank you again to the Reddit, and thank you to the Wiki for getting all this information for us. Um, I will not be around when the new data comes on the global side. We don't know if we're getting categories or not. Uh, a lot of people are saying we're not getting them and it's going to be different leader ability like they changed with Goku Black. Others are saying we're, the, the new maintenance that are going down is because we're going to be implementing the new stuff that, that they were trying to get set up uh, for categories. So we'll, we'll find out. Unfortunately, I won't be able to break that news for you. But if you follow me over on the multiverse, I usually post up over there if I have the time to do so. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.